Friends, welcome to our homestead. Every day there are new challenges, new projects to take on, new things to fix. One that we have to address right now is this. And if you're wondering what this is, this was a package that I had delivered until my dog got a hold of it. So today we need to make some sort of cradle or chest for UPS and FedEx to deliver packages and put them inside. And one of the best scraps around a homestead that you can use to do this are pallets, and I have a ton of them. Let's do it. Yeah, so our problem child is named Brisket. He's a 100 pound Great Pyrenees, and he will not stop eating boxes. So anything that's delivered to the house that I don't get to in maybe 30 minutes, it depends on if he's roaming around, he starts to chew on or he pees on it. And no, he's not neutered. And I know that's something I have to deal with with an unneutered dog is them marking everywhere. So far, it hasn't been an issue until he started peeing on the boxes that were delivered. Now, luckily, what was inside this box, my carbon monoxide detector, did not get chewed on. He only chewed the box. And yes, I bought him so many toys to chew on, he's more spoiled than my kids. And yes, I bought him a shock collar, and that didn't help. Besides the fact that he quickly outgrew the shock collar because he's giant. So I'm just going to make a simple cradle out of the pallets. We'll put it next to the fence, and hopefully FedEx and UPS will put them in there. Of course, I'll put a sign up. If anybody tells you this lifestyle is boring, they have no idea what they're talking about because every day poses new things for you to take on. And that is on top of the normal work that you have going on. Many times it has to do with keeping your livestock safe or your animals out of other things, especially if you have goats. And that's cool, no problem. It's hard to think of everything ahead of time. There's no way you can think of anything or everything ahead of time. And something always breaks. So, you know, we had a problem with our chicken fence over there with that coop the other day and we had to repair it and that's no problem we got it done and now this thing with the dogs they pop up that's no problem we'll get it done so i'm at my front fence this is the most common place where they drop the packages is just right on this side so i'm going to try to build it around this area you know honestly this is going to be a quick and dirty job just because of its importance now it is important that i keep my packages safe but it's more important that i harvest my onions and potatoes right now We've got this pine tree in the way, but I'm not taking down the tree for just this little project. But on it, we've got this giant Virginia creeper vine. This thing is probably an inch and a half in diameter. It's been on here for a while. It's time to get it out. And luckily that Virginia creeper is really soft and easy to cut out. And now I'm gonna level this out. And luckily, since we live on the beach sand that we have here in East Texas for soil, it's super simple. Easiest way for me to do this is to wire it to a lot of things, but two tools that I wanna talk about real quick having with you almost all the time on your property are a good pruning saw and a pair of fencing pliers. You can do a lot with just these two tools. All right, I'm gonna wire one pallet to the tree where I think it needs to be. That's the bigger pallet. You know, something else you should always have with you on the homestead, wherever you go, is stainless steel wire. This stuff comes in so handy with so many jobs in so many different places, I recommend everybody just get rolls and rolls and rolls of it, of different gauges, because you are certainly going to need it. And take our fencing pliers to tighten this so it stays nice and snug. On this side, we're gonna flip the pallet so that all of these slats, which is what supported the original load, are pointed toward the end of this one. That's gonna give us the ability to drill through those and into the thicker end piece on this pallet. And then you can also adjust it back and forth like that. And then we are also gonna wire it to the fence. He didn't hear me until I ran the power drill. He came out to see what was going on. And this is what he automatically does. He's all cute and stuff until he's chewing apart my packages. You gotta chill, man. This is a Pyrenees thing. They are very submissive to their owners, but if they don't know you, don't step on the property. And if you are an animal of some sort and you venture onto the property, then 
he's likely to tear your head off. And his bark is a serious bass. You hear something? Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. No, not me. Go get them. So we're really blessed that the previous owner put in this cattle panel, welded cattle panel fence. Not much gets through here. Of course, deer can jump over the top, which they do all the time, but it keeps the wild hogs out. And they are the real danger around here. Making sure I wire and screw this together pretty solidly because that Pyrenees of mine, he will just smash his head into things and just push his way into small places and he's got a lot of force behind him. So I wanna make this as secure as I possibly can. Well, what are we gonna do for the door then? Well, I'm gonna pound in a six foot T-post and use that to hinge the pallet on. So I'll show you how I'm doing that. I have my T-post where I wanna hinge it and I'm just gonna lift the pallet over the top and use it like a door. But then I'm obviously gonna wire it shut so he doesn't get in there. And knowing him, I will have to wire it shut, not only at the top, but at the bottom. Well, that's it. Once I make my sign, hopefully UPS, FedEx, and USPS will all drop packages in this area. And my dog won't get to them. All I have to come out and do is undo the wire, swing the door open, get my packages. And for anybody thinking about stealing any packages out of there, I do have security cameras all over the homestead. I've done a video about that in the past and we are continuing to add more. Hopefully they see the sticker on the front gate that says, beware of dog and look, you're on camera. Keeping up with little maintenance items like that on the homestead does take a lot of time, but it is super important. Don't let anything fall through the cracks, but prioritize the main things first. I knew this wouldn't take me very long, so I got it done. And for the dog to not eat the packages, it kind of was important. You know, sometimes I'm now going to just put up these easy videos of just the work that I'm doing on our property. And I always want to be encouraging. So I hope those encouraging messages really help out new homesteaders that are watching this content. And we hope you stick around in the channel permanently. So hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell, or you just won't hear about any of my new videos. All right, time to get cleaned up and take the girls to piano. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.